Hello YouTube, Dakota from Rotime Media here, and AI is taking over the world. Well, I mean, obviously not yet, but <laughs> AI has obviously been a hot topic of conversation, especially around the music scene, whether it's AI-generated art or AI-generated music as it is. But uh, Spotify is here to join the conversation with an AI DJ personalized for you. And so I've been playing around with this feature. It's in beta right now for the last couple weeks or so since it's been released. And um, I'm, uh, I'm, I've been intrigued by it, I should say, uh, since I realized ever since I've had access to it. And um, it's, it's fascinating. So I just wanted you to, if you haven't seen this, at least explore this a little bit and uh, kind of walk you through uh, the Spotify DJ. Because Spotify has always been sort of, their main thing is personalized for you. Is their kind of whole thing with whether it's playlists or music or recommendations or anything podcast. Their whole thing is to to recommend you new music and recommend music for you and personalize your your sound, your everything. And so that uh, keeps you engaged in the app. That's been their kind of big, big thing as an app versus like Apple Music who doesn't really do that i guess i should say in an ear so um let's uh let's open up the spotify app here and let's uh let's show you what i, what I mean so if i tap the music tab here it just says dj right here and so let's let's see what happens when i when i tap it up next i see you've done a blend before with some friends on spotify well i got some songs that those friends have been listening to lately could be some good ones for you in here something from d1975 up first <laughs> d1975 so it's gonna go in here. So uh, yeah, so if you didn't realize uh, that voice is entirely AI generated uh, and this is sort of an AI, I guess, AI pick of the music that it wants me to listen through. And so this is, uh, as you heard it, going through my blend, it's and these are, this is what your friends are listening to. Here's some stuff that your friends are listening to. And then just plays the stuff right away. And so you can hit that bottom thing. Uh, you can hit it on the bottom right to sort of see uh, all of that, uh, all the new things and hit the DJ again. So I tap it again. Up next. It's time for a vibe. And that vibe is sad emo starting with can't swim. <laughs> sad emo is great. And so this is recommended for me specifically. So it shows at the top, it says DJ, and it says recommended for you. Last one was the kind of friends listens. And so I can just go through and it'll just give me this, well, like I said, sad emo vibe, which is not really what I listen to. So I don't know why it's recommending that for me personally, but I guess there's a couple of sad stuff to do. So again, if I ever just want to tap that the DJ in the bottom right, I just tap it. All right, let's try a few editors' picks. Some else. of the biggest songs in the country right now. Miley Cyrus leading it off. Okay, and the summer vacation news. Miley Cyrus is. I'm assuming what's gonna it's gonna play here. Yeah, flowers. Yeah, and I can easily see the song here too, and I can go through. And so this is all the editors' picks. And again, let's see. Let's see what else it's gonna give me. Let's tap it again. Okay, here. let's switch it up to your own personal pop. Caroline Polachek up first. Okay. It's my own personal pop, I guess, is this time around. This is what I've been recently listening to. So Caroline Polachek, uh, I have not heard the song, so I don't know what this is. <laughs> but yes, Justin Bieber and uh, and Skrillex, Ellie Goldin, I have been listening through. Sweet House Mafia I have as well. Now a few songs from an artist else. you listened to a lot a while back, but not as much recently. Consider this a reunion. Here's oh. Adventure Club. Okay, yeah, totally. From the past, uh, just it's giving me just Adventure Club. Fascinating. Okay, and then let's scroll through and see what else can give me next. Up now, pull together a few artists you've been listening to. Maybe one or two you haven't heard, all with kind of a similar vibe. Gonna start with Cascade. And has the music playing in the background underneath beforehand too. And so it's just a really fascinating experience doing this. And so having this in the car is quite an interesting little thing because uh, it like plays, as you see, it'll play a couple songs and then it'll switch it up on you. And it'll say, this is what your friends are listening to. This is editor's pick. This is what you're going to do. This is a throwback to your stuff. This is what you've been having repeat recently. And so it is just a fascinating feature. And I think I like this. I think I like this direction of AI in particular, where it's a little bit more uh, of a sidecar. It's a little bit of a someone that's walking through um, with you as a bit of an assistant to help you in the areas that you or just to guide you along with what it believes to be what you want. And I can turn this on and off easily. I can just go into the music and I don't have to do the DJ. And so... This is a feature that I can be in or cannot be in, and it's just a thing on the side where I'm not forced to have it. Uh, I think if Spotify forced everyone to have this, they would hate it. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's just an option that you have if you want it there. It's it's fascinating. Uh, it's got a couple names wrong, obviously, because it's AI. Uh, but otherwise, it's been really solid. Any of the talking, listening experiences I've had with it, it's been really, really solid with its grammar and and pronunciations and punctuation and um, its emphasis, its its vocal tone 
tone. It's everything. It hasn't felt like a, a real AI robot. It's not like your classic Siri. It doesn't sound like a robot. It, it sounds really, really good and, and shockingly good. And so, yeah, this is just something I wanted to highlight. What, I mean, I'd love to know what you guys think. Have you actually been exploring this? Have you even seen this yet? Do you know about X, this new DJ? Have you explored it? Are you not even on Spotify? And um, I'd love to hear any and all thoughts here. This has just been a... Uh, I've been experimenting with it, and honestly, there are times I, I really enjoy it. I think it I think it's really cool. I think it's really fascinating. So it doesn't talk a ton. It, it sort of just gives its spiel, gives its little quick little snippet of 10 seconds. This is what's happening. This is what's coming up, and then goes away. And so it, it's super not intrusive or invasive, and it's a, honestly a fascinating little feature. I think it's a fascinating little feature. And obviously, they didn't have to have the voice attached to it. They could just have this playlist. They could have a mix for you and do it in without having the voice, but adding the voice does, I don't know, it adds something different. It just makes it feel more like personalized. It just really does. And that's what Spotify is going for. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of uh, this Spotify AI DJ. I honestly think it's kind of cool. I think this is the best use of AI. This is kind of what we want in AI and for the future, an option and an optional thing to have alongside you that personalizes stuff for you. And uh, yeah, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. Other than this, I've been Dakota from Bowtie Media and I'll see you guys in another video.